So, so this is a model of the, the lumbar spine, the low back. And you've got the vertebrae right here. That's the front, that's facing this front. Is, this is the front, uh -huh. and this is the back. And you have the, the vertebrae are, are the bony part, and then the discs are the shock absorbers between the vertebrae. And what do they feel like, those shock absorbers? Well, they're, they're, they're softer. Than the, the bone is very hard, and, the, and the, these are soft, and they act, I, I variously call them gaskets or shock absorbers. Or uh, the, most, the best analogy, I think, that people seem to get is a tire. Uh, just like a tire has a tough outer tread, uh, the, the disc has a tough outer surface. And then just like a tire has a soft inner part, the, the disc has a, a soft inner portion, which we call the nucleus. And when that disc herniates, mm -hmm. what does that mean and what does it push on and what does it do? So a herniated disc takes two parts. You have to tear the tough outer tread of the tire or the part of the disc and then that causes back pain typically when you tear that disc. You can have a torn disc and have back pain without actually having a herniation. The herniation occurs when the soft inner portion of the disc comes out and usually it goes where you don't want it to, which is towards the back of the spinal canal, which is where the nerves are. So if that herniated disc bulges out toward where the nerves are, then the nerves are irritated, cause pain? Exactly. And so just like the torn outer portion will cause back pain, if you have pressure on a nerve from a herniated disc, that oftentimes causes leg pain, pain shooting down your leg. How do you diagnose it and treat it? Well, the diagnosis of a herniated disc is typically made by physical examination by a doctor or other healthcare professional. Uh, X-rays typically will not show a herniated disc, but they can show other important things uh, that your healthcare professional will want to know. Uh, uh, like, like what? The, the vertebrae get wider or narrower together, things like that? Exactly. Not everyone has the same type of uh, structure in their low back, and the x-ray can show us if, there's a, if you have a variant of uh, vertebrae that, is, that we need to know about that could be causing your symptoms. How good is an MRI? An MRI is the gold standard for diagnosing herniated discs. And if you have pain long enough, eventually someone will recommend an MRI to you. When I was in medical school and first started in medical, we didn't have MRIs. And uh, it's amazing to me now what you can see. The detail is amazing. And it's an MRI is basically a giant magnet that shows us a very clear picture of of your low back when we get a lumbar MRI. And it can show us the soft tissue as well as the bone. So in other words, the discs themselves and the nerves will show up clearly. And if there's a disc and a nerve coming into close proximity that might be a herniation, we'll be able to tell.